you join us today for something a bit different, something which I haven't covered much on this channel, but today we are out coastal foraging. Now what do we find in this little hole? It can only be one thing, as we've got lobster me on the case. Join me tonight on an active rescue mission. We just pulled up to the beach to eat our chips, coast guard running onto the beach. So right out there in the distance, there's been a stricken vessel. Uh, engine loss of power basically, and we've just seen him being dragged all the way in through the sea there. And now they're going side by side, and we'll bring him into shore. And the coast guard are waiting. Right there. We'd be lost without these guys. They do a very, very good job. We have lobster lee over here. Oh, did have. <laughs> what have you got in your hand there, mate? Well, it's a boat hook. It's a boat hook. It's not a lobster hook, but tide's low. Let's see if we can find a hole and uh, scratch a lobster out. Scratch a lobster! Yeah. Let's go, let's go. Monji, you alright, mate? Oh, Come on, Monji. Let's go and do a bit of coastal foraging. Now I've always looked at this beach and I've always uh, been interested in it and this, that and the other, but I've never seen it with this with this amount of water out because obviously we've got big tides at the moment so I'm going to get in all the little rock pools and see what we can winkle tinkle out then guys. Look at these nice little beds. Winkles. So they are actually nice, boiled in a pan aren't they? Yeah. Nice bit of food there if you were stranded or fancied a bit of a uh, bit of food. Some winkles on the beach is scattered with them. We got Rich over there, he'll be straight on the peeler, no doubt, looking for the crabs and stuff. Yeah, look, absolutely teeming with winkles. I've just talked to Lee then and uh, talked about the winkles. Now when people do forage for them, and some people actually do it for a living, there is actually a law of the size of winkle you could take. And do you know how they find out this? It's quite clever and it's quite easy. They get riddles and they riddle, riddle the winkles. Any small ones will drop through and the big ones will remain. And that's how they uh, get the, the uh, different size of winkles. So now we are looking. Any lobsters? Have you got one in there? Lee's honing in on something. No. Not in there. No, no, no. Basically, outside of a lobster hole, you'll, you'll see a pile of, of sand where it's scratched to make itself a burrow. So keep an eye out for. Um, a little pile of sand outside of a little cove like this. It might be a lobster, like that one, look at this. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, that? yeah, so yeah. that's fresh sand. Okay. Yeah, so something has dug that out, yeah. So under there could be something. I can't see anything, 
I think it's gone, but something has made a hole there, yeah? This isn't the right hook, it's way too big. But that's what you're looking for. That's fresh pile of stuff just outside the hole. That's smart, isn't it? Do you know what? This, this stuff uh, interests me quite a lot, and I'm getting uh, taught as we go by on this one. And there's peelers here as well, is there? That's it, you just want to turn all this kelp over. And that's it, we put everything back as we found it. So if you flip a rock, always put the rock back where you found it. Nothing under that one. Sometimes the peelers and stuff will just be sat underneath the kelp as you move it around. You can just see a peeler just sat there. Same as I've done there, I always put it back over how you found it. Any rocks you flip, put them up back round. But look at this. Coastal foraging at its finest. Oh yeah, there's a lot of stretching under there. Aha. Uh -huh. But it's right under. Right under, that's a Just big... Just got the wrong hook. If you look under there, there's a good mound of fresh stuff. Is there? So a lot of the time you can't actually see what's in the hole, but when you put the hook in, you'll feel something... Nibbling like, at it. To, yeah. Tap, tap it. See, that's a mega deep hole, that is. This hook now, I reckon, is way back there. Um, I can't see a thing, and I haven't felt anything yet attack that hook. I'm just being very, very gentle. I don't want to smash anything. Definitely, I'd say I'm pretty much out the other side there. I reckon so. Should we have a look? Yeah, definitely come out there. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. There you are. It's a big rock as well. <laughs> Let's have a look under this side while I'm here. See if you see the left or the right, that's a big rock, that one is. I can't feel anything in there. I think he's gone out with the tide, hasn't he? Yeah, but there's definitely a fresh scratch there. Can you see it? I can't. You can see it from this end more. I'm having a good look in here now. Yep, I think he's gone out with the tide, hasn't he? Oh, here we go. You see all that soft stuff there, mate? Yeah, there's a bit of a hole here. There right could could it. be one over this side, yeah. So on the back of that one? Yeah, there. could be. Can't see much in there at the moment. But bring your hook around here. And try on this side. I can't see him, but there is a bit of a crevice there. Mm. We'll go on to the next one, actually. There's plenty of it here to go up. Should come across some velvet soon, isn't it? Velvet crabs. Velvet. Yeah. See once again. Put everything back the way you found it. There we go, come here. Oh, okay. Tiny little one. We got a lobster. Just a little bell. Oh, there you You see him there? Oh, <laughs> he darted <laughs> off, he's gone. Yeah, there he is. There's actually a green crab there as well. He's gone back your way, the green crab. He's gone my way. Oh, there he is. Yeah. He's gone underneath that rock. There he is. Underneath there. He's gone. There's actually something else in there as well. There he is, just a little tiny one there, look. A little bit too small to keep, but there is something in behind that as well, you can see. Something's disturbing that there. Back your way, the velvet, can you see Oh, it? there he is, yep. Yeah. Come on, buddy. No, he's coming back your way now. What I'm going to do, give me a little nudge towards you. Just a little nudge. Can you get him? Yeah, I got him. Too. There we go, just a little nudge. He's only a bad one, this one. There we go. wonder why they call him a velvet crab. Feel that. Turn your finger along that. Back oh yeah, yeah, it's very way, yeah. That. It's like velvet, isn't it? Oh yeah, that's crazy, that is. Yeah, and they have them mad red eyes. Fast little things. There is a market for them. They, uh, the French eat them, like they f eat everything else. This one's missing a couple of legs there. But, yeah. Yeah. Nice. 
Little velvet. About. Yeah, let's get him back in his hole. Cover him back up. That's it. Always flip it, guys. Put everything back the way you found it. So is that green crab in there as well, is he? Oh, yeah, there we go. Just a little green crab. As you can tell, pretty green. Again, the small one. And he's hard ears. He's absolutely solid. He's not a softy. Yeah. Lovely. Let's get him back. Back you go. Remove you you the velvet. There you go. It's something I'd like to cover a lot more on the channel, this guys. Because this is actually very interesting and you learn quite a lot about how stuff lives and where it is and you know the different species that are out there and I'll start covering more of this guys yeah start covering a lot more of it <laughs> the couple hiding in there like I don't know if you can see them they're only small little things oh yeah one there um, I'm not sure from this angle there's another one up there just a couple of small tiny little crabs but look at the holes they've got yeah, a little where they dig themselves out, yeah. Yeah, and look how like well hidden it is as well because the the kelp hangs over as well. Look, look at him. <laughs> He's just chilling in there. Look, there's another one in there. You just see his claw sticking out there. I don't know what that is. Um, some sort of urchin. It's actually like a sponge. Look, I don't know its proper name. But, um, if you know guys, drop it in the uh, comments below. Let us know on that one. Well, the rock's full of it, isn't it? Limpet there, look. Limpets, yep. Old limpets. Look at that for a, that's that's a, for a hole there. That's a hole there, isn't it, look. Some soft scratch in there. So there'll be something down that hole, I'm guessing, but it's only a small hole. It might not be a lobster one. That It might probably be in crab or a... Velvet. Okay, and I can't see it thing, but I'm just can you hear something. Yeah. So that's it getting it claw getting the uh Yeah, yeah you can hear it. Yeah, got, I've just got I haven't got enough hook is too bulky it. to but I'm guessing it could be just like a little velvet crab or something that's just a small hole. That's a proper hole, that cave. one, isn't it? And you should be able to hear it on the stick in a minute. Another empty one. Just, just yeah. Like I say, guys, there is a tool for this, but with it being last minute decisions, this would do. But well, I probably will get one of those little hooks. Usually it's just a, a thinner pole, you know. Um, like a, you know, I'd say that hook there is about eight mil, so like ten mil thickness, and and it's a smaller, tighter hook. You know, say about that, and the pole just comes back. Mm -hmm. um, you know, this is just way too chunky, and that's for getting the pot in. Too big, yeah. That's full of lobster. <laughs> just grab that off the boat quickly. That's it. Spare of the moment, last minute thing. And this is the type of stuff you see when you're out here foraging. It's a little egret. Yeah, I don't think it's a big peak. The commotion over there. These holes aren't really big enough for lobster. Not big enough. These are, you're looking at velvet crabs. And velvet crabs. So we'd find a big hole, probably in these rocks here now. Yeah. Let's push over here a little bit and find the bigger rock, maybe. Yeah, so usually you'll spot the claw because the lobster will always kind of reverse into the hole most of the time and just sit there like that waiting for food to come past it so usually you'll just spot a claw if you spot anything or you know the red like antenna things that mm -hmm. got, you'll just catch one of them usually right and then you know you get to try and get that hook behind it and tickle it out we might find one i say we will because you're getting some to the bigger rocks there's a hole there though not sure what they're called and okay. the little yellow ones look not sure what they're called. They look like a winkle, but a yellow version. A yellow version. Same again, there. if anyone knows what these are, guys, let us know. There'll be a name to them on. It's lovely, look, the whole ecosystem just full. There's another one there, look. 
two loads of food if you're a fish. Oh yeah. Stuff about. And that's why these rock marks and stuff and rough ground always fishes pretty well guys. And you say because it's a it's a habitat for all sorts really, isn't it? What was that that just moved in there then? Something just moved in there, then a little shrimp. There you go. A little tiny shrimp there, look. He's dinky, almost invisible. He's just there by my finger. See him? So if I move that, there he is, see him? A little tiny, tiny, tiny shrimp. How cool is he? Look at him. One thing I will say, guys, is if you do go out there like this, coastal foraging, always be aware of your surroundings and be aware of the tide times and know your limits. Don't push it. Always err on the side of caution, especially when you're out here. Low water foraging, likewise fishing. Have you found another hole there? That's a nice big one, isn't it? Stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. Burrowed out here, but... It's amazing, look how far back that's going straight away. That's crazy, isn't it? Oh, can you hear that? There's something attacking that, but... Oh yeah, yeah. It's probably just a velvet crab, I'm guessing. It doesn't feel lobstery. I can hear it. No. He's right stuck in there today. having a good battle. Can you hear him? That's a bite. Yeah, that's a bite. <laughs> that's a bite. That's a good bite, that one. He's a crab, we'll leave him be. Look at the boys over there, so. Rich has brought his lug pump over there. I think he's showing Alice what he's, uh, what he's capable of. He's definitely getting lug over there. Oh yeah, it is a fresh bottle, but it's only a small, small little bit there where it's, uh, see the fresh sand in the front of it? Go on. Lee's honing in on a nice hole there, I see that. Same again, look at all this, look, when you're out here. It's amazing to see. Look at this, someone's had a rough day. <laughs> That's an old, very old mooring chain. Look at that. Cockle shell. Yeah. Cockle shell. Look how crystal clear these waters are. Look at this. Absolutely stunning. What a beautiful evening to be doing this. So Lee's found an absolutely huge cave here now. Look at this. It goes right back. And there is a body of water in there. Just keeps going, look. See any in here hiding underneath there? Can't see anything, I can't feel anything. Nah. Something definitely lives in there though. That's a, see all like this soft sand, fresh, isn't it? Yeah. He's probably gone out with this big tide. He's disappeared. Let's have a look under here, see if we can see underneath. Yeah. See a bit closer. Let 
nothing in there. We'll keep looking, we'll keep looking. What have you got here, boys? Some blow lug. Some blow lug. Look at them. Nice fresh ones. It's really hard ground though. Oh, you drop one there, mate. And you drop two. What well, was Ellis? But were you pumping then, mate? Yeah, yeah Ellis got half an ounce. Fair play, mate. He's a big old crabby, wasn't it? Oh, there he is. I seen him here, yeah, yeah. He's right there on you now. What is it, velvet? There you go. <laughs> Scared him out. There we go. There we go. Another big. Green crab. Hard one, solid. Rich is in his element here, he loves the crabs, don't you, mate? Oh, I like that. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, again. <laughs> what have you found here, mate? A little hermit. Oh, it is as well. Look at the size of that little hermit. So, a hermit, when they grow and get to different sizes, they'll actually come out of the shell. And go and get another shell. And Rich has just seen this one. Ever so tiny. Little shell just going across. And there is a little baby hermit. And he was just there, he was just chilling there. But that's what they'll do. They'll go like that. And once he outgrows that shell, they'll find another shell. Here he is now, he's coming out, look. He's moving round. See his little eyes on the top of his head. Look at that for camouflage. I'll turn my torch off, see if he... Uh... Look at that, I'll put him in there. Oh yeah, look, there's another little tiny hermit in that one as well. Little baby, baby hermit in that one. How cool is that? You'll see him just coming out now, watch. Little tiny, tiny hermit. You can see his eyes right at the top of his head, see him? Right at the top, like two little bubbles. He's watching us, he's watching us. <laughs> look at that. It's amazing. But you don't... Is it deep there, Alice? Yeah, there's a big hole here. Is there a big hole there, yeah? <laughs> just walk out of it. <laughs> a big step there, is there? <laughs> are you stuck, are you? <laughs> Come on, Ellis. Oh, he's on his knees. <laughs> you little fibber. But you can see why the wrasse and all the bass and everything love this type of stuff. And there are thousands of little uh, shrimp in this lot. Obviously, loads of food for them. It certainly is amazing to see. to that. Gorgeous. Right, so this is a prime, I'd say, spot for a lobster. Because if you can see the scratch hole, and that's when they burrow themselves out. So Lee, there's only one man for the job. Lobster Lee. You see one in there, mate. Can see one. Yeah, let's see him. Hey, hey. You can tickle him out so long. There is one in oh. there. Oh, yeah, it's backing up there. Yeah, he's definitely in there. Oh, yeah, he's there. We see him, guys. We've got our first lobster. This is completely the wrong hook for this. There he is, there he is. Him. He's here, he is. Look, yes. Go on, Lee. Wow! Oh, can you hear him kicking? Oh, he's there. Can we see him, guys? Here, look. Oh, he's not out. He's turning round. He's backing up. Tell you what, I'm going to do here. Right, we're going to let... take this out a bit. So we can pull him out. Here we go, guys. Dad, do you want to get him with my hand? Here we go. I'll get him. We'll get him. We just need to open the hole up a little bit here now, guys. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he's deaf. We've got ourselves a lobster, guys. We've got ourselves a lobster. Oh, here he comes. It's a nice sized lobster, that as well. Lee's got the tail. Oh, oh he that. just turned last minute. <laughs> oh, he's a good one. He's a good one. Oh, he's got a big claw as well. 
small. He's got the tail. He's just turned the other side. He's coming slowly. Can we get him? That's it. And that nice and slow. Push it forward then. That's it. He's coming slowly. <laughs> Look at him. Here we go, guys. That, that's a size. That, 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 that's a keeper. That's definitely a keeper. Look at that. The meat on this. Uh, this claw. So, so this is a cock lobster. So it's a male lobster. Um, the back here is narrower, whereas a female is more splayed wider to protect the eggs. So when a lobster has eggs, it's all under here, the eggs. Okay. Um, so this is a male. <laughs> An angry male? Yeah, so this is a male. Uh, cock lobster prime. Um, yeah, got all its legs. All eight legs there. Um, that is brilliant. Yeah, cracking lobster. So, yeah, that's how you get a lobster out of a hole. And the claws. So this one is... Yeah, so um, that's more of a cutter claw, and that's more of a, a crusher. So that's that's a lot heavier than than this one. So that's the fast one. That's the one you've got to watch because that's what they'll go for you. Uh, you know, that's what will get you quicker. That's what will come for you first most of the time. That's called a crusher. That's called a speed. It's more of like a snipper, isn't it? It's more of a Oh, it's like... Uh, yeah. That's brilliant. There we go. We got, that, 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 yeah, that like, lobster is just slightly soft. I don't know if you can see that. It's not absolutely solid. So because. that's not long cast its shell, malted, and that's how they grow a size. So um, maybe before it malted, that would have been an undersized lobster. Maybe that could have potentially been 88, 89 mil. So it shed its shell. And grown into a new one, grown, grown, grown to a bigger size. So that that's actually pretty good. That you can catch them and they're like jelly at times. You know that's not properly hardened, but it, it, it's okay. So that's that's a prime table lobster. That's you know pound and a half, good pound and a half. Um, you know and ready. You know ready for the for the table. Let's see what the gauge says on this lobster. So tight behind the eye. If the gauge was tight on the back of the eye and it stopped there, that would mean it would be 90 mil exactly. So this lobster is actually ooh, 20 odd mil over. <laughs> That's brilliant. Yeah. And what a way to do it today, guys, with the lobster Lee himself. Look at that, on these glorious tides we got, nice big tides. And we came over to this one, and it just it just took us straight away, didn't we? We thought, that's really fresh, this scratch hole there, as you can see. And uh, there he was. Lobster Lee hasn't failed us. We were, we were lucky with that hole because we could actually see the lobster. Some of the holes, you know, you've got to feel around in them, and you can't actually get a visual on the lobster, but there was a visual on that straight away, wasn't it? And we've done it. Believe it or not, so if we take, if we took that one home now, decided to keep it, it would only be a matter of most probably a couple of weeks, and there'll be another lobster in that hole. Another one will have moved in. That's brilliant. <laughs> lobster Lee, absolutely brilliant. And there we go. Something different. We've got a lobster for tea. Right, guys, we're going to head back now. Hope you've enjoyed this one. Um. We are going to do a spot of fishing now, so what I'll probably do is I might bring it into after this video. If not, there'll be another video. In fact, no, I'm going to do that. So I hope you've enjoyed this one, guys. Now it's time to go try and catch a ray. Getting how to forage a lobster from the shore with Lobster Lee. Monji and the hero. That's a lobster.